Yeah, very cool. Here's our moon box is the name that I'm referring to it as. And the surface has fissured very nicely with the uh, crackle paste. I'm not sure if the camera's showing it to the extent that it really is. A little bit in there, not much. And I still need to go over the uh, the uh, Sergeant Art modeling clay and smooth it all in, in, into place. I want another I want another little stalagmite or whatever those are too. So I may try trimming down some of the mass. And I did make a mistake. I, I really should have had a painted horizon. I look more at the Marks Toys box. And it has a nice horizon at some point. Uh, between the imaginary rock formations. So I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about how to address that. It's going to be, that's going to be kind of a, of a poser painting it with this thing in the way but then again it's 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 non-hardening clay and it can be repositioned and manipulated as needed and once I've got it at, at, at the surface texturing that I want I'm going to take something like the uh, micaceous iron oxide or or one of the other light interference acrylics and just Give everything a quick coat, not really paint it, just put a coat over it. I'm not even sure uh, this may be, it may bead on that, I don't know, it's an experiment. The whole thing is an experiment, I've never done anything like this before. But I'm pleased with how that's been fissuring, and I'm wondering if I should seal it all down right now, or stain it first. I think I want to stain it first. And so it really, it, I can't, I can't do anything with it because I'm afraid that the, that the, uh, the paste is so thick that it might crack off in, in spots. Anyway, that, that's what's going on with that. Now, less uh, pleasing results. I, I took some of these guys who have uh, helmets as part of their figure rather than separate and used, uh, heavy body, heavy gel semi-gloss, I thought it was heavy body, whatever, and it, 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 it isn't just that it's not drying clear enough, it, it looks awkward, um, I was trying to make face plates for their helmets, and it, it has a weirdness to it, I'm going to let them sit for another 24 hours, because it still not be, may not be completely dry all the way to the surface. It was a nice wad of the stuff on each of them, but it, as it dried, it shrank. And so, for instance, their noses are poking out. Um, if it dries a little clearer, I'll just put a second layer on. That's actually kind of cool how odd he looks. And I, I like this one, too. I want to put a second layer on it and, and just leave it looking like, I don't know, he's, he's fogging up. Huh? And, and another thing that I did last night, I went through and I gave each of them one little red dot right there in their belt class to sort of mimic a suit function or whatever. And the rest of them are all boxed up. We'll, 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 we'll con the, the others aren't, aren't suitable for making a faceplate too because they, they're either not wearing helmets or their helmets are like a like a biker's helmet doesn't doesn't completely seal in with the suit so it only made sense to try to put face plates on these guys and I'm not that taken by it ooh let's do it let's just do a quick experiment huh Incredible. Um, he's he's bigger than I'd want him to be. So this 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 actually may get treated with smaller figures. We've got boxes of them. Don't worry. 
Although that's still pretty impressive, and we'll certainly shoot some pictures with the bigger guys in this one. The foil suit crew, huh? Talk about having fun in space. There we go. Catch you later.